Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome to Hexit. So if you don't know what Hexit is, this is a Minecraft mod pack that's more of a sort of an adventure style mod pack. There's lots of adventure type mods in here like Battle Towers, uh, there's the Dimensional Doors mod, there's also a lot of stuff like Tinker's Construct and Zeno's Requiry where you can make custom weapons and things like that. So it is a really, really, really cool adventure style mod pack and uh, the reason I'm actually doing this uh, is because if you didn't know already, the FTB Pyramid Challenge map finished and at the end of that I went and put out a voting video where you could vote on new series and I put down a couple of series which I liked the idea of and this was one of the top ones. Uh, there were a lot of spam votes and after quite a while I finally got through there, filtered out all the spam votes and uh, this was one of the top series uh, along with FTB Unleashed and the other Insanity version of the Pyramid map. So I thought I'd do this series first, I'm going to be doing all three of those series. Uh, I was going to do FDB Unleashed after New World anyway, so that sort of fits uh, out quite well. And after the Hexit series I'm going to do the Insanity version of the, of the Pyramid map. So that's sort of how that's going to work, I just thought I'd explain it quickly for anyone who's wondering. Uh, I just didn't want to do the Insanity version of the Pyramid map directly after the normal version, I thought that'd be a bit weird. <laughs> I wanted to give it a break in between versions really. So anyway, we're in uh, Hexit over here and we've just spawned in. This is the spawn area just here. I did have the bonus chest enabled as well just because I thought it was a little bit easier to get started with them. So I thought why not have them enabled. It's not really cheating is it? <laughs> uh, we'll also grab the torches from here as well. So let's grab that. I've actually got to watch out just there because that is quicksand and I don't really want to get stuck in that because well it's right at spawn, we don't really want to die straight away. Uh, and I'm just going to pop a marker down just here. This is the mini map. If you're wondering how you use it, if you've been playing Hexit, you just hit M. Uh, and then you can right click and add a marker name. So I'm just going to set this as spawn. Uh, so spawn. And we're going to hit enter. And we're going to put this under the world group. So that's going to be world items. Uh, and hit enter on all of those. So now we've got a little marker at spawn, uh, which we can easily find our way back to. So just quickly let's talk about the world before we get into too much about the mod pack and anything like that. So if we hit M, the world that we've actually spawned in is actually not too bad. Uh, we've got one of these huge redwood biomes over here which are a really nice biome, I do like them. They're a bit laggy though but <laughs> no worries. Uh, we've also got a pretty large rainforest biome over here. I think I saw a little bit of a plains biome over this way but I'm not quite sure on that just as of yet. There's a desert biome up here, we've got a autumn woods biome right here next to spawn. Uh, there's also a forest biome, snow biome, or ice wastelands, desert, more over there. And we've got some more rainforest up here with a village. Uh, and what's this up here? Hmm, some of the maps spawning in. Uh, but there is a village up there, so I think that's probably going to be the best place to go to to get started off with. We can always venture into them forests later on. Uh, but I think the village is probably going to be the best place to go because there's at least going to be some resources over there and uh, we're at least going to be able to find something. We've also got these Necronomicon pages, which I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if there's Thorncraft in this mod pack, or Thumecraft, or whatever you bloody pronounce it like. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if that's part of them. I don't think it is, though. I think it's part of a different mod, but I don't know. I do know a little bit about the mod pack itself, um, but there are still quite a few things that I'm in the dark about, really. Uh, the only mods that I really know too much about are like Tinker's Construct Battle Towers. Uh, I do know a little bit about Choco Craft because I've seen it in other people's uh, Let's Plays and things like that. And there's also uh, Zinno's Require uh, Requirely and have you Requirely? Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> and there's also things like Extra Biomes and all that, which I know about as well. And uh, now, why is that over there? Shall we go and take a look? Yeah, I don't see any harm in that. Uh, so, the, like I said, there are still a few things in this mod pack that I'm in the dark about. Oh, that's collapsed. That was supposed to be a dungeon, I believe, and <laughs> the plan has been foiled. I wonder if there's a chest down there. I don't think there is. Hmm. What's this as well? Oh, I did not want to open that book. Okay. <laughs> I don't really feel like it's a good idea to go down there as of yet, since we haven't even got a weapon or anything. I think it's probably a good idea to go and take a look at the village. But I'm going to throw a marker down here, and we're just going to call it Odd Dungeon. There we go. World, 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 world. There we go. 
So we can at least come back here and take a look at that in the future. But I think probably today it is going to be more of an exploratory episode. We're going to go around, see if we can get ourselves some basic iron tools and armor. Uh, and at least find ourselves somewhere to call ourselves home. Or at least somewhere where we can throw a bed down and sleep for the night uh, and set our spawn. So I'm going to take a look around this village. I'm hoping there's going to be uh, a blacksmith or something around here. What we can find. Now... Just a quick insight into this series and stuff. I did actually record an episode of this. Yes. Whoa, what the? It's part of a caves mod, I know that, but that's kind of interesting. <laughs> um, I've got some iron, some swords, awesome. Uh, so, I did know this village was here and stuff just because I did record an episode of this yesterday uh, and was going to upload it, um, what's it called, on Thursday, but. I just wasn't happy with the episode. I recorded it and it was like... <laughs> that just that was a really terrible explanation. I, I'll just put it this way. I just wasn't happy with the episode. Uh, and it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I decided to re-record it. So here we are. So I do know a little bit about this world. Although the dungeons and stuff spawn in different areas. But I don't think that's too much of a bad thing. Anyway, so it looks like this is one of the Tinker's Construct houses. If you don't know about these, these are part of the new world gen for villagers. And basically, these are included with the Tinker's Construct mod. And you get all the benches that you're going to need to make the tools. And you also get lots of pattern chests. And you also get a few materials to work towards some tools. As so that's kind of useful. I am going to leave this stuff here as well. Because I want to take a look around the village. Uh, and like I said, I did record uh, an episode of this the other day. And wasn't happy with it. But I do know... Uh, from what I saw in that episode, that there is another Tinker's Construct hut over here. So, let's go and um, take a look in here. Uh, we've got some more patterns. Uh, we've also got some stuff. Now, I'm trying to see if we've got a tool rod in any of these. No. It might be worth, though, making ourselves uh, some tools out of this stuff. So, let's take it back to the other Tinker's Construct house. And I think I'm going to set up my house over there, which seems like a decent idea. As soon as we can set up our house over there, let's steal some of this tim uh, this wool from the floor. Why not? Why not ruin the house? There we go. Uh, we can at least make a bed over there, so that's going to be quite nice. Uh, there's also plenty of food here as well, so I'm going to just quickly grab some of this. So, what I think I want to do is get ourselves a Tinker's Construct pickaxe made. It's actually quite lucky that we're at this village, because it sort of gave us the opportunity to get some higher-end Tinker's Construct stuff than we'd have been able to do earlier on. And what I think I want to do is get use some of this stuff what we've got to make a few tools uh, and then we can go and do a little bit of exploring and see if we can get some stuff to work with. So what I think we'll do first of all is we'll just quickly craft ourselves a bed up so we've at least got a spawn point and we'll throw it down there. Awesome. Can't sleep in the daytime. Uh, we can chuck all this stuff away and uh, we can get started on some things. So I think we'll take the obsidian pickaxe head uh, and we'll use that. We want an iron tool binding. We might want some more iron tool bi bindings actually. Uh, we want maybe a sword. There's an obsidian sword blade we could use. Uh, and we could also make an axe as well if we've got the stuff to do it. So do we have any axe heads? Let's have a look. Can't see any. There's an iron axe head. Okay. We could use that. Is that a... Oh, it's a blue slime sword blade. I thought it was a diamond one there for a second. So if we take a look in here, we've got tons and tons of patterns. We've got a tool rod pattern here. Uh, and before in Tinker's Construct, if you put this with a piece of uh, whatever material you want to use, it would go ahead and create that tool pattern out of the pattern. But now you can only use these wooden patterns for things like wood. Uh, and I'm not sure about cobblestone. Yeah, you can use it for that as well. So... It's going to be limited when we first start off as to what we can use until we get sort of a forge and things like that. Because once we get that, we can then make metal items. But for now, we're going to be limited to things like stone, wood, flint, paper, and all things like that. So, let's take a look at the stone. That has got a durability of 131 and a modifier of 0 0.5. So, that's going to half the handle modifier. Uh, or it's going to half the durability of that. So, if we take a look at wood, what has that got? That has got a 59 uh, with one handle modifier and a mining speed of 2. So the stone might be better. Yeah, let's make that. Uh, and we'll throw this down here and we'll make another stone rod. So these are going to be used for uh, the tools themselves. 
so we'll get ourselves a pickaxe made first of all uh, and these are going to be our basic tools so usually we'd have just gone ahead and made some uh, stuff like uh, iron axes and pickaxes and things like that but as soon as we've got this stuff here why not use it so let's take a look at this uh, at the moment we've got a 44 durability which is terrible mine speed of 7 though now what happens if we add the copper head to this uh, we've also got the bronze one as well so the bronze one takes up to 175 durability and the copper takes up to 90 and uh, the bronze is going to be the best then for now we've also got a reinforced pickaxe as well that's going to be quite nice also if we take a look in here uh, this is the basic recipes for now uh, there are some more books we can get as and when we make more things with Tinker's Construct but I'm just going to start off with the stuff we've already got uh, so we'll make a sword as well we've got an obsidian sword blade uh, we need a hand guard I think yeah, I think that is that. Uh, have we got a hand guard? That's a crossbar. Blue slime wide guard. Maybe that would work. Let's have a look. Yeah. So we've got 53 durability with 3 hearts of health. That is not that great. Uh, have we got anything else? Hmm. Oh, there's an iron pickaxe head that I'd never noticed that one. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> we could have used that, couldn't we? Oh, no worries. Uh, so we'll do that. That's going to give us a rapier with two hearts and 31. That's probably going to be the best then, isn't it? But it's only got 53 durability on. I might be better just making an iron sword. Yeah, that's going to be the best thing. Oh, and we want an iron uh, an iron axe as well. So we will make that, maybe. We'll make a wooden one, I think. Or maybe a stone one, I'm not sure. Yeah, stone one. I'll save some of that Tinker's Construct stuff for later, actually. Because at the moment we're not really going to use all of that and it's going to be a bit of a waste so we've at least got an iron sword and axe and a pickaxe for now which we can get started with all the rest of this stuff i'm just going to throw away quickly because we're not really going to use it and oh wow we're already at night time already <laughs> already at night time we haven't gone exploring yet wow i've wasted tons of time with this tinker's construct stuff but it's fun no worries uh, so we've at least got some stuff now i think it's time for us to go and do a bit of exploring around the area and actually get started on some stuff which is going to be quite nice. Now, have we left any food behind? That's the question. We have got some bread, uh, some wheat in here. So what I think I'll quickly do is we'll just go around the village. We'll just grab a little bit more wheat and then we'll do a bit of exploring. And what I... I heard a zombie. Uh, what I think I'm just going to quickly do is head upon the roof and we'll just quickly set a spawn point. So let's go and set this to my very first house. Do, 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 do. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what I think I'm just going to quickly do is we're going to go on a bit of an exploring rampage here. I'm also going to check how long we've been recording. So I actually want to know how long I spent messing around with Tinker's Construct because I got a bit carried away. Uh, and I will be right back. So I've just been wandering around the village for a little bit, farming some food up. And I think we've got a decent amount of stuff now to be getting on with. And I saw this stuff here. So if you don't know what this is, this is part of Tinker's Construct. Uh, and this um, is basically iron ore. But you cannot mine it with a pickaxe if you take a look at this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to pop back home. Oh, there's some chocobos there, by the way. I don't think I can tame them at the moment. I think I need something to tame them with. Uh, I think it's the green gash owls. I think that's how they're pronounced, but I'm not sure. I've not really uh, looked too much into that mod. As I said, there are still some stuff in this mod pack that I'm a bit in the dark about. But let's quickly grab some of this. I need some more sticks as well. And what we'll do is quickly make ourselves a shovel. Now, to get this iron ore, what's over here, which is in the gravel, we need a shovel for it because, well, you mine gravel with a shovel. <laughs> uh, so let's quickly hop over there and we'll mine this up. And basically all you do once you've got this is you shove this in the furnace like you normally would. So that's not too bad. So we'll grab tons of this. There is quite a lot of it here, actually. So that's going to get us on a decent start to our iron armor. Very, very nice. Awesome. So let's quickly get this. Nice, 10 of it. So what I think I'm going to quickly do is we're going to wander around the area for a little bit. I'm going to find some iron and we're going to collect some stuff. Now I think these are part of the Choco Craft mod. And I'm not sure if you use these to tame the Chocobos. I actually might give it a go. Let's, let's go and try it out. So we'll quickly pop over here. As I said, like I said, there is still some stuff in this mod pack that I'm in the dark about. So it is going to sort of rely... Uh, on other people leaving suggestions as well. Is he mine now? Are you mine? Can I? Wait, is he mine? 
I don't know. <laughs> I honestly do not know about that. I don't know if I need a saddle or something. He doesn't seem to be following me. Although it did come up with the heart symbol, so I don't really know. <laughs> if he is mine, he is mine. If not, we can get another. So let's go and see if we can find a cave. Because I do want to do a little bit of, um, uh, what's it called, mining this episode. To try and get some iron armour. Uh, we also need some trees as well. If we're going to be going into caves, I need to bring some wood with us as well. So grab some of that. Uh, is it me or do iron axes seem slower? You know what? I feel like they do. I don't know if that uh, some, uh, a mod is messing with that or something. I've got a feeling it could be something to do with Tinker's Construct. Obviously, with all the new tools in there as well, you, you wouldn't want things like um, iron axes being really, really quick. But then again, though, I don't know. It's probably just me not using iron axe in God knows how long. Uh, so, oh, there's more of them things over here. These look like a pretty common sight, so I don't think I'll go crazy on collecting all of them. So... What I think I'm going to do, like I said earlier, is we're going to go into the caves, do a little bit of mining. Uh, the ore generation is a little bit up and down with this, and to be honest, I don't really mind. I'm going to need lots of redstone and lapis lazuli, so I'll try and keep my eyes out for that. If you're wondering what I need redstone and lapis lazuli for, it's for these pickaxes, because you can add look and um, look, and I think the look comes under a modifier called, oh, what is it? It is called luck, isn't it? That's Lapis Lazuli. And the other one, I think, is speed with the redstone. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a little bit of time mining in this episode. If I find anything interesting, I'll cut back the video. But other than that, though, I will uh, continue mining. And uh, hopefully we get enough iron for a full set of armor. Oh, just a cool feature for anyone that didn't know. If you've got a Tinker's Construct pickaxe and you right-click it, the item to the right-hand side of the pickaxe in your hotbar will get placed. So, for example, I've got torches there now. Uh, that is what's getting placed. Let's just kill this zombie. And uh, I can show you the rest of this. Uh, if we put cobblestone next to it and right-click, that is what will get placed and so on. So it is a really, really cool function. I love Tinker's Construct pickaxes. They're awesome. In fact, the rest of the tools are awesome as well. Uh, now, we've got these heart containers here, uh, and I'm not quite sure what they are. I think it's basically you pick them up and... Oh, that's a creeper. Okay. You, leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. And... Oh, okay. That's some pro skills. <laughs> okay, so I basically think the heart containers, um... Once you pick them up, they just go onto your heart bar and refill. I'm not quite sure on that, actually. It's going to be interesting to find out. And Are we getting bones from... Oh, they're cool. They're like fossil blocks. They drop bones and everything. There actually used to be a mod ages and ages and ages ago. I don't know if it's still in development or not. But it was about the time of... What was it? About beta 1.7? Beta 1.6? And um, it was like a fossil mod. And it was an archaeology mod, I think. Uh, and basically with that, uh, you could mine up skeletons and all things like that. And I can't remember what the mod was called. But it was really, really cool. <laughs> uh, let's just quickly... So what I think I'm going to do is continue mining. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to cut back the video if I find anything interesting. Because, to be honest, mining is not really the most fun thing to watch. Because, well, that's just my opinion. But <laughs> anyway, I will continue mining and see if we find anything interesting. Diamonds! <laughs> it's actually quite odd. Diamonds at Y57. That That is quite interesting I guess from now on 57 or oh, wait 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 they're on Y56 actually aren't they yeah I guess Y56 is gonna be my lucky number doo, 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 doo. <laughs> it's gone every single lottery ticket I can find and just put like Y56 down. <laughs> okay so there's some gold here as well which is awesome I'm gonna have to collect that because I know that um, I'm probably gonna end up needing it I might want some golden apples or something later on might be quite useful for when we go in the dungeon. Um, as for caving... Wow, my voice just went there. It was like, as for caving... <laughs> um, as for this caving, I haven't really found anything else too important except for those diamonds. And there was only one at that, so... I'm wondering if that is something where as you go further down throughout the world and everything, uh, and go deeper into the caves, you find more and more diamonds uh, in clusters, if that makes any sense. I think that sort of made sense. Basically, what I was trying to say is, the higher up you are, the more chance you've got to find the single diamond block than more or more in one place, if you know what I mean. So anyway, like I said, back to mining, and uh, hopefully we can get enough iron for a full suit. In fact, we might have enough now. I'd just like to get a bit more before we head back. Die, zombies! No! 
<laughs> there we go. Oh! That's not good. Eat up. Okay. That was a close shave. Ooh. I was just dropping by, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. So, that was kind of interesting. I wasn't looking for a cave, but it looks like we found one. Okay. What's down here, is it? Is there anything going to be interesting? Oh, it just loops around. Ah, oh, no worries then. No worries. <laughs> it led me some, to some more iron, so you know what? I'm not complaining about that. Iron is always welcome. Diamonds are even more welcome, but... Ah, iron's always useful. Is it worth going down there? That's the question. Hmm. Oh, our pickaxe broke. So, basically... This is actually something quite interesting. I didn't actually know this up until recently, or, well, I did know it, but I've sort of forgotten it a little bit. Basically, with Tinker's Construct, if you've got a pickaxe and you use all the uses up of it, the pickaxe doesn't actually break as an item, but you can no longer use it. So if you take a look, it just takes hours to mine a block, and you don't get the block back when it actually mines. So it is still, well, I can't really say it's usable, because it isn't really. Marble cobblestone. As it turns out, it's rather soft. Okay, so... Like I said, it's not really usable, and I've actually blocked myself in here. GG. <laughs> I think it's time for us to head back home now, when we eventually get out of this place. We're doomed. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to take hours. Oh, that's a creeper, that's a creeper, that's a creeper. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was a, an unsuccessful creeper explosion. So I was actually wandering and just out that cave where our pickaxe broken. Or where our pickaxe broke. Broken wasn't the right word, but nah, never mind. Uh, and I found this. So this is part of dimensional doors. And I'm not going to head just in there at the moment because we don't really have any supplies or anything. But I'm going to add portal to limbo. There we go. So I might head back here in the future. It is definitely a high possibility that we will. And that actually looks like a road there, doesn't it? It's kind of interesting. I'll have to take a look at that in a second. Uh, but what I actually came out here to do is I'm still in the search for some stuff to uh, work with and so on. So I thought I'd actually grab some timber with our awesome tree capitator thing that we've got installed in this. Uh, and we'd grab ourselves uh, a couple more pickaxes and keep on exploring because I'm sort of really wanting to do a bit of exploring at the moment. We do need some stuff as well, so it's sort of a bit necessary to do that. I dropped close down. Interesting. Um, so yeah, let's quickly make ourselves a pickaxe. So we'll grab that. Uh, we don't need the saplings neither. So we'll throw them away for now. Uh, and let's make a crafting bench. And we will just do that. I can hear a skeleton nearby as well. We're going to get killed soon. No. Uh, let's do that. We'll make ourselves a furnace quickly. Uh, and what I'm going to do is smelt up the tiniest bit of this iron. Oh, you son of a... Okay, I knew you was... I knew you was nearby. I knew it. I said it a minute ago. Didn't I just say it? I said, oh yeah, there's a skeleton coming nearby. Let's block that in. We'll block this in just for now. Uh, and the same over here. Cobblestone. There we go. So at least going to be safe for a second or two while we smelt up some of this. So we'll put four of that in. Uh, and how much? We'll put, I don't know, something like eight in here. Uh, and we'll actually just use one bit of that coal. There we go. So hopefully once this smelted up, we can get ourselves some stuff made. We've got some ore berry bushes. I cannot remember too much about how these work. I'll have to take a look in the Tinker's Construct Manual when we get back. But I think for now, let's just... Uh, get some iron. What I'm going to need to do actually is throw that away, throw the seeds away, throw that away. What else can we throw away? We don't need the bones we might need. Uh, we could actually make some bread with these wheat. There we go. And then we can throw that away, just clean up our inventory really. There we go. So at least got a little bit of space to work with. Uh, so we'll grab this, just make ourselves a new pickaxe. Then we can go mining again. Ah, uh, back mining. Now, we don't have the fun uh, the um, functionality of the uh, Tinker's Construct pickaxe. We can't right-click. I wish we could, but uh, I don't know. 
I want to get another Tinker's Construct pickaxe as soon as we can, or even repair this one. That'd be awesome. Uh, but I think that is going to be a little while before we repair it. I think we're going to need a forge for that. And I think that means going to the nether. I think you need nether brick for it. I can't quite remember. It might have changed since uh, I last used it. But from what I remember, you did need to go to the nether. Let's throw that away. And I think that's going to be everything. There we go. Is that done? Awesome. Let's continue on our adventure. Oh, there's a creeper there. Oh, you're just saying hi, are you? Hello. Good day. Do you, do you want to get hit with a sword? Let's try this. Da 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 da. <laughs> okay, back to mining. Now, I'm very tempted to take a look down there, but at the moment our inventory is just jam-packed full of stuff that I think it would probably not be the best idea to go down there as of yet. So I'm just going to throw a marker down just here, and we're going to put it cave entrance. Cave entrance? That's wrong, isn't it? Cave entrance? That looks about right. There we go. Let's leave this. There we go. So we'll come back to here a little later in the series, I think. Or when we need to go mine again, or once we've got some more space in our inventory. Uh, I know there are backpacks and things like that, so I might head down there once we've got a backpack or something so we've got a bit more space. But we will come back later and uh, probably um, go down there this time. Is this the pathway to the village? Oh, whoa. This is, <laughs> this is a nice way back to the village. Awesome. So let's go and actually pop back home. We've seen as we're this close, we might as well do. Uh, and we'll get started smelting up some stuff for our armor. I think that's going to be the best idea. Uh, I think while it's smelting up as well, I might go and have a quick walk around the area and see if I see anything else. Um, but for now, let's uh, throw a furnace down. We'll throw that in there for now with two bobs of coal. Uh, we'll also do that with two blobs of coal. Oh, four, there we go. Uh, so that is everything. So I'm going to do a bit of a wander around the area. Uh, if I don't see anything, I, I will come back and we'll make this iron armor. But other than that, though, uh, I want to go adventuring for a little bit and see if there's anything uh, cool out and about. Oh, these things are dropping hearts. Oh, that's cool. What are they, though? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Someone will have to let me know on that. I'm, I'm not sure as to what they are. That's kind of interesting. Oh, this is a nice cave. Ooh. Oh, diamonds. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome. Wow, that is actually quite lucky. Okay. I'll also grab this lapis lazuli as well, because like I said, lapis lazuli is actually useful in this mod pack. It is used with Tinker's Construct. It adds like a, a fortune enchantment to the pick. Uh, so that is going to be really, really, really useful. Uh, other than that, though, uh, I think I did head over this way because... If we have a look on the mini-map, uh, it goes into one giant ocean at the side of, um, well, not far off where we're going to be living in the village. Uh, so I thought I'd just take a look at the ocean, see if we can see anything out there. I do know that with better dungeons, it spawns pirate ships in the ocean, because I think better dungeons was in uh, the Yogg Box, which I played... <sighs> that's a while ago. <laughs> I, fact, I think that's a year ago since I did the Yogg Box series, which is a long time ago. I'm still surprised there hasn't been an update for the mod pack. I'm pretty sure it's been discontinued, really. Uh, but that's also one of the reasons I think people wanted to see this as well, because this is sort of a similar pack to that. What I um, to the Og box that is. Um, there are a few differences that is, but like I say, overall it's sort of the same aspect of gameplay where it's more adventuring. So yeah, I think it's going to be a fun series. Um, as is, something what I was actually going to talk about is I'm not sure how long this series is actually going to be. Uh, I don't really want it to be like a 50 or 60 episode series because I think I would get bored of it by that time. Uh, I think I want this to be sort of a, a short series, but I do want to accomplish some stuff within the series itself. I think what I want to accomplish is to have at least beaten one of each uh, of the better dungeons uh, along with the battle towers and to have took a look at um, pretty much everything else that all the other mods have to offer. Uh, I think that would be sort of a, a worthwhile goal for the series. But if there is anything you could suggest as well, if the series as well, I am open su to suggestions. If there is anything good, then uh, I wouldn't have a problem with taking a look at that. Uh, anyway, let's... Um, I don't know what they are over there. I, I was looking at them out the corner of my eye as we was uh, just wandering around. And they look fairly interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go and take a look at them. 
by the looks of it, they look just like um, ruins, so I'm assuming they're from the ruins mod, but I'm not sure on that. I do really like the way though there's these ambient um, buildings and ruins throughout the landscape. It does add a lot more to it. It makes it look like it's actually been used. And I really wish Vanilla Minecraft would have this. Now I saw something sort of similar to it. Uh, if you have seen on Twitter, Jeb's been posting out something like the um, temporary, uh, not the temporary, uh, the work in progress biomes, there we go. Uh, what's going to be going into the game in the next update or in the biome update, which I think is going to be 1.7. I'm not quite sure on that, um, but yeah, some of the working progress. Oh, the skelly heads. Why are the skelly heads? I don't know. I've got one of them on actually. I picked them up earlier. That's odd. Really odd. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to what I was saying. I got completely distracted there. Uh, so yeah, Jeb was tweeting out some of the um, working progress biomes and everything. If you haven't seen them, I'd encourage you to go and take a look because they are really, really. Well, there's one which is really cool. It's like a uh, alpine biome, and it's got all like these pine trees and uh, all that type of stuff. It's basically a huge spruce forest, but it's actually got stuff to it. It looks sort of like a, a cross between the autumn biome out of FTB, or out of extra biomes, that is, uh, along with um, spruce trees, basically. Uh, it is really, really nice, actually. You've got mossy cobblestone on the floor and everything. That's sort of what reminded me of seeing things like that about out and about uh, there are actually stuff you wouldn't see in the game like ruins of things and all that and it would be nice if the Minecraft actually had that in it would be a nice touch because it sometimes gets a bit weird as you start a new world up and all you see is pretty much the same stuff over and over again uh, which is one of the reasons I like these type of mods where it adds a lot of stuff to the environment um what were we doing with this I didn't drop any of my stuff off actually I only dropped the iron off which is probably a bad idea I am just trying to get this redstone though for the XP, so what could I drop? Probably the bones actually. Yeah. Anyway, back to mining. We are officially on our seventh skeleton skull. I'm sort of wondering why uh, there are so many of them. I'm just assuming it's one of the um, mods what add it, but it's kind of weird seeing them everywhere. I'm not really complaining though. It's just odd. <laughs> anyway. I think it's time for us to start heading back home now because we have been wandering around for pretty much nearly an hour now I believe. So I think it's time for me to head home. Uh, this video would be an hour long but I think I am going to cut it up a little bit because there is quite a lot of exploring. Oh more diamonds. Um, a lot of diamonds okay. Um, there has been a lot of exploring where I've just been wandering around not really doing much so I think it is going to be cut up a little bit. Uh, I'm not quite sure how much though, and I'm actually not quite sure how long this episode is going to be. I should have really been like counting the minutes or something like that, but I don't know. I've sort of been just enjoying wandering around, it's been interesting. There we go, another diamond. We're on six diamonds now. We could actually make ourselves a diamond pickaxe or something, but I think I'm going to save them and look into doing something with them and Tinker's construct. Nope, nope, there we go. Yeah, like I was saying, I think I'm going to look into doing something with the uh, diamonds and Tinker's Construct. But as for now, though, I'm not quite sure. We'll have to look into it in a future episode. I think now, though, my just goal is to get home uh, and survive. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and get back home. Ooh, more diamonds. <laughs> that was... I was just about to um, walk up here. Just turned around for a second, see that zombie was coming from. There's more diamonds over there. Uh, what can we drop? What can we drop? What can we drop? Maybe the torches, yeah. I want that zombie head. I want the zombie head! <laughs> okay, let's... The diamonds. How many are we up to now? Ten. Awesome. Alright, now to try and get back home. And I am heading in the complete wrong direction, but... Ah, uh, no worries. We'll head this way and hopefully we get back home soon. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, there's a mummy. Oh my god. Okay, let's get rid of that spider. Okay. <laughs> that is kind of interesting. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Die. There we go. This is sort of a death wish, I think, at the moment. Coming out at night. Well, staying out at night. What was this thing here? Uh, what can we drop? What can we drop? Uh, let's drop them because they're fairly common. In fact, the potatoes because we've got them back at home. We've got the Chocopedia. Oh, that must be for choker craft. Okay, we might take a quick look at that when we get home, I think. Seems like a good idea. Uh, and what's this here? Block dame something, something, something. Okay, there's a skeleton. Okay, 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 get out of here. The skeletons are lethal. 
the skeletons are lethal. Repeat, the skeletons are lethal. What I think I'm gonna try and do. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I've got to get away before they kill me. I am gonna be dead if not. I'm gonna be dead very quickly if not as well. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, just run. <laughs> We're close to home. We can at least make it if we try. We can make it if we try. I don't know what that thing was in the desert, though. I might have to come back in the daytime and see. Just run, 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 run. There's a spider. Okay, can we take care of him? I think we can. No. There we go, there we go. Awesome. Got loads of these emerald shards. I'm not sure what they do. I'm not sure if they work towards getting emeralds or something. Uh, I'll have to test that out when we get back home. There's lots of things we've got to test out. We've got a heart shield. Nice. Skeletons. And... Oh, there's two of them. Can we deal with it? Can you deal with it? Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, let's get back in, sh uh, back to shelter. Uh, and we'll actually set our spawn because that is something we've not done yet. So, good night. Good night. Good night. There we go. So, we've got these emerald shards. I want to see if we can make emeralds with them. Oh, I thought we could. They must be used for something. Let's hit you on them. Uh, and we'll take a look. Load up. Is it going to load? Or is there actually use for them? Ah, oh, there isn't. Oh, I'm assuming they must be used for something. Uh, we'll throw them away though for now because we've not got them. Uh, let's take a look at this Chocopedia quickly. Or the Chocopedia. And I'm going to throw some of this in there. And some of this in there. We don't want all that coal used up. There we go. So let's take a look at this Chocopedia. Welcome to Chocopedia. So this is just telling you about the chocobos and everything. So I think that's what we're going to take a look at in a future episode, I think. That's going to be quite useful. I'll put it in here so it's safe, along with all our redstone, uh, lapis lazuli, diamonds, coal, gold, aluminium, <laughs> or aluminum. Aluminum? Wait, is that... Yeah, aluminum. It's aluminum there. Ah, uh, I'm going to go against every fibre of, fiber of my being to say aluminum. Ah. <laughs> Uh, now we've got a pickaxe here. I could repair it, but I haven't got the stuff to do it at the moment. I don't think I think it was a bronze one So I can't use these copper ones to repair it. Anyway, let's quickly get ourselves a suit of armor made up So we're at least protected for now uh, There we go there and There we go awesome Boop boop boop. Oh, we've got a helmet on already. There we go. And there we go Sweet so we now got all our armor done we are now pretty much ready to go on whatever we want. We could do with some more pickaxes and things like that, which I'm actually going to quickly make. Uh, but I think for now, that's actually going to be the end for today's episode. I hope you've all enjoyed this um, introduction to the Hexit series. It's been a ton of fun to get this first episode recorded and all that. Uh, so, yeah, if you did enjoy this uh, episode and you would like to see more of this series, uh, then don't forget to leave a like rating on the video. It is really appreciated. Uh, and it sort of helps me judge more whether people actually want to see uh, a specific series so it does help me out uh, in knowing that uh, as for the series length and everything I talked about that a little earlier in the video and if you do have any ideas or goals you'd like to see for this series uh, then feel free to pop them down in the comments below but other than that though I will see you all on the next episode and if you do want to know uh, what the dates are for when these videos are going live and everything uh, you can check the video schedule which is in the about section of my channel uh, and it's also down in the description of this video if I remember to link it but other than that though hope you've all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on the next one so bye and cue the awesome music so that was the first episode of Hexit. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you uh, do want to show your support for the series or anything like that, then uh, as I said in the video itself, a like rating on the video would be really appreciated. Uh, if you do want to leave your support in the comments below as well, then that's appreciated as well. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see me do in the series, then feel free to drop that in the comments below and I'll take a look at it. If you do want to check out any of my other videos as well, I've got a couple linked on screen. There's links to the last episode of New World, which is more of a technical Minecraft mod pack. So if you do want to check that out, then feel free to. Uh, there's also links to my current Let's Play, which is of a game called Evo Land, which is a really like fun concept, uh, which follows the evolution of gaming. And the game like gradually improves itself as you play along and evolves. There's also links to the Feed the Beast Pyramid Challenge playlist, because that's where the Hexit series was on my channel in terms of schedule that is but other than that though hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you all on the next one so bye